Hey church family, if you're watching this, this means you either have power or internet, both. That's good. If you know of anyone uh, in your neighborhood or anyone else in the church family that we're not aware of that needs help with anything, please reach out to the church. Uh, let our staff know so that we can be of assistance and uh, help make a difference for them. In the meantime, I just want to give you an update on what's going to be happening this Sunday as we get ready to start a brand new sermon series called Pathway Through a Pandemic. See, the reality is we're in a time when we don't know what's going to happen. I mean, who saw this windstorm coming uh, at us on, on Monday and hitting us the way it did. We just thought it was gonna be a thunderstorm and yet here we are trying to pick up the pieces. And that's kind of what life has been like for 2020 is we're just so uncertain about what tomorrow brings. And so one of the things that we wanna do is instead of just living a life of worry and uncertainty and not knowing what tomorrow brings is let's find a pathway through the pandemic. And what we know when we look at the Bible is that God has always been there to lead his people through the wilderness, through struggles, through difficulties, and through exile. And so what we're going to do starting on Sunday is we're going to pay attention to what God's Word teaches us through the book of Exodus as God leads his people through the wilderness. And we're going to take those cues and we're going to learn about what God can do to provide us to move through this pandemic over the next few months. And so make sure you're here Sunday. You can listen to us uh, in person at 10 o'clock. Make sure you bring a mask or you can watch us online. Uh, just go to iowacchurch.org. One last thing is uh, we continue to support Iowa City Compassion with peanut butter and jelly. And you guys have been doing an amazing job. Pam keeps taking peanut butter and jelly over there every week. So bring your donations, drop them in the shopping cart in the foyer, and we'll make sure to continue to support them, make sure families in need have something to eat. Love you guys. See you real soon.